Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and yeah, I disappeared. The garage kind of changed. I'm down to 12 million now. Um, let's just be straightforward here. I got bored, opened a lot of packs, got sick of recording 1 million every day, and the views weren't really there as like what I expected. So I'm like, you know what, screw it. Let's just open some packs and see what we get. And I opened some packs. Garage is looking not too bad now. Let's just say we got 14 legends, 60 epics, and 248 ultra rares. And I started maxing out some cars. So maxed out a couple cars. And um, yeah, things started piling up. I started maxing out a lot of cars. We're currently at 209 fully upgraded now. I've Your boy's been doing a little, little bit of gaming, let's just say. I've been doing a little bit of gameplay. We've been working on some stuff. Let's just say the top drives uploads might return. I've... Let's just say, all right, let's, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the best way to put this, you know? So, I've been playing, well, let's actually sort by locked. You guys don't need to see my random fuse material crap, because that, yeah, yeah, look. We got a lot of fuse material, let's just say that as well, but, yeah. I got bored of the game, sold the garage, wanted to do packs to the grand finale. Then, I started having fun again once my garage wasn't as good as what it was before. Like, I actually kind of had, like, the most fun in top drives I've had, in like the last two months like it's been super enjoyable like actually being able to build up stuff again and actually work on the garage and then like be not as competitive as before which sounds kind of funny because it like before it used to be like oh i want to be super competitive and win all these events and crap and you know then i'll be like i'll open up all the good packs and stuff but right once you have anything everything the garage becomes kind of dull and it's just the only time you lose prize cars you just all you're doing is losing legendary prize cars to like some super niche requirements or stuff where you're missing like one car or you'll lose a tri-series to a bunch of pay to win people but when your garage sucks it's actually kind of fun again so i've actually been having a good time playing the game now i've been maxing out some stuff so i thought hey let's do a little garage tour also a few more updates the discord server is dead i deleted it um i left for like a month and deleted discord and yeah, I probably won't be returning to Discord. Uh, it's dead. So yeah, bye bye Discord server. If you want to talk with me though, you can message me on Instagram at yellowfin underscore CX30. Here's the handle right here and stuff. Go drop a follow on there. I'll probably follow you back. And also we can talk if you want to talk and do crap like that. And then also, yeah, second channel's been growing real good. That's the other thing. I was able to focus a lot more on the second channel. Jumped it up to like 650 subs or something like that. The second channel's Yellowfin TV. I definitely re recommend subscribing to that one because I'll be uploading a lot more consistently on that one compared to the top drives. But I'll do the occasional top drives upload, but I want to make them more higher quality and stuff, you know? So this is my garage, though. Let's talk about that now. All the little plugs and stuff are done. A lot of maxed out. That's what I've been focusing on mainly is maxing out a lot of the cars. Let's pop another fuse into the Citron. Like, I've been keeping all the fuse material and making sure to max out all these cars so I won't have to worry about max outs and stuff like that. But also, you could notice, it's a lot of random stuff. A lot of the cars I maxed out are cars that I didn't have maxed out before that I wanted to max out. So a lot of the new update cars, um, European New Wave, that's what it's called. Yeah, there's a lot of those. And then yeah i've just been maxing out a lot of cars i didn't have maxed out before <laughs> to kind of see what those stats look like maxed out i've started working on the meta cars again like we got the fiesta right here um i got the saturn sky the nissan leaf nismo so i've been working on also just building up the garage so it'll be strong again and i can compete in clubs but it's just going to be a rebuild process now but i kind of get to experience the game again back when i was kind of like at I don't know, day like 500 or something compared to day 1000, whatever I'm at. Like here, the Randall Twizy F1's upgraded now. So yeah, I'll be a lot less competitive, but it'll also be a lot more fun because I can just work on rebuilding the garage. And I don't know where it'll continue from this. I don't know how long I'll keep playing the game, but we'll get more top drives uploads. And yeah, because as of right now, I'm having fun. So we'll just keep it going. Just with slightly less consistent uploads because I'm also just going to focus more on the second channel. But you are going to still see top drives from me. Maybe there will be a few more pack openings with this remaining cash. But I do want to get all the cars upgraded first. So like this Bristol is now maxed out too. Like I've just been focusing on first getting all the maxed out cars maxed out. Once I run out of fuse material though. Then I'll start up opening packs again and I'll record those. So yeah. 
that will be fun when that all occurs. So here's some more maxed out stuff. Um, you know, those two are finishing soon. We could drop another fuse in the Skoda real quick as well. There we go. But yeah, a lot of good rares, a lot of random rares as well. An eclectic collection of rares, you could say. And I've worked on really just maxing out a lot of them because I don't want... The other thing that I didn't like about my garage before is I just had a lot of cars sitting stock. I didn't really upgrade stuff because I was always focusing on posting another pack opening video. So this time, I want to actually focus on having all my cars upgraded. Because if they're maxed out, I don't need to worry about that and events will be a lot easier then. Because that was the only thing I struggled with, is I didn't really do good in events if the cars weren't maxed out. And then the next event where I need that car, it still wouldn't be maxed out. So that's why now I'm just maxing out a lot of cars. Like, see, these are some super random, super rare max outs right here. But they're all just cars I wanted to max out but never got to because they just weren't good enough to actually put the resources down. And instead, it made sense to save for ceramics. But that's what I'm doing right now is I'm maxing out the cars that I really wouldn't have maxed out before, which is why you see a lot of these super rares are completely random that I've kept and also have maxed out some of them because I just want to max out these cars that I never really got to give any love to. Like this Mercedes, I, want, I had like three locked that I was going to max out fused all of them away never actually kept another one like this bmw i actually am kind of nostalgic for because i used to have it on my og og account and yeah finally maxed this car out again i've been wanting to max it out for like forever though um like we have a lot of cars that i've been maxing out a lot of good ones too i've also been focusing on making sure the garage won't suck right once i run out of money i want to be slightly competitive so i can still like grind clubs a little bit which is why I've worked maxed out some meta cars like the ELR. Um, I have the Sport Clio Cup car. I'll work on the Taken soon. Um, the Mazda 6 is maxed out now. Um, we have the i30N Project C, the Mustang Convertible. The SRT10 is nearly done. Let me put that last fuse into it real quick. There we go. 200S. Um, the Caterham, I maxed out immediately. That one's a really good car. And then Ultra Rares. I've got a lot of Ultra Rares. And that's the other thing too with this garage. Like, I'm playing it with the play style I wanted to play it with. Before, I wanted to be uber competitive, and I fused away a lot of ultra rares I wanted to keep. This time, I'm not fusing away any ultra rares unless they're a duplicate. Only duplicate ultra rares are getting fused away. That's why I have the Skoda maxed out, and I have all these random all-surface tire cars that kind of suck locked. Because I want to keep them all. I just want to work on collecting and actually having them maxed out, though, while I'm collecting. So all of these ultra rares will be maxed out. That's why I'm working on a lot of random ones right now. <laughs> And I just don't want to run out of fuse material. Also, I was super happy to get them before Geneva. I really wanted that car, so I'm really happy to get that. That's why I'm maxing it out currently. Like this car, the 450 SE, I've always wanted to max this TVR after I got it on my account in the very beginning and had it maxed out. Then I sold it, maxed out, on one of my beginning purges in my garage. Like this garage has been through like three purges. I sold all my lower tier garage. Then I destroyed my ultra rare collection once. Um... Then I destroyed my epic collection. Then I sold the entire garage. So now we're on like the fifth phase of my garage. And we're working on a lot of interesting stuff. I also finally got the Trans Am 30th anniversary. So I maxed that out. Super happy to get that. But yeah, I've just been working, working away. Let me put the last fuse in this Audi real quick too, before I forget to do that. There we go. Audi will be maxed out now. Like this Merc, never would have maxed it out on the old account, but had it maxed out now because I was really happy to get that like the look of that car a lot and i'm just working on cars now that i like and like enjoy having collecting in my garage so that's why there's oh wait this guy needs another fuse last fuse into the santa fe there we go doubt many people have that car maxed out but i will shortly also c250d garbage car but it will be maxed out just because i like it and that's just the thing i'm just maxing out like it's just fun again i get to just upgrade the stuff that i think is kind of cool and that's what I've been doing. Also got the Bronco Heritage Edition. That was a car I really wanted. Super happy to have that again. Roof BTR. Like, see, I got some of the meta cars back. BTR, Exige, so I can still be competitive. The XKRR. I've got the Trailblazer back, so don't even need to worry about getting that again. I have the Guayra, which I'm working on. The Caterham 7. Uh, <coughs> sorry. My allergies are stupid bad right now. Like, Mulzan Speed. I'm working on that. That's a meta one. C8 Laviolet is a great one as well. I saw one of those at a recent car meet. So definitely go check out that second channel video if you want to see me spotting that TVR in person in the U.S., which is pretty rare. That's a super rare car to see. Um, 
Yeah, lots and lots of stuff, as I was saying. Like, this one. Oh, firepower. Here we go. Finally got the Chrysler firepower back. I used to have it maxed out when it was an epic. Then it dropped to ultra rare, and so I fused it away. Now I finally have it again as ultra rare. Super happy to have that back in my garage. Um... And yeah, like, see, we still have the Xeno C10. The 420i X-Drive was a car I didn't have before, and now I do. So I also got, like, a lot of cars I didn't have before. Lincoln MKS as well. And then Epics, I'm also just not going to fuse away any non-duplicate Epics. All the Epics I'm keeping as well, because we're just working on building that collection. So I have, like, the Subaru Forester, the Range Rover, all these random Porsche. A lot of pretty garbage cars that you'd most likely fuse away. A lot of these cars are actually cars you'd fuse away. I fused away a lot of these cars multiple times. But... We're going to keep them. Like, one good one I got is this Caterham 7. That's a great one. Um, I've also started working on this Caterham. It's got one fuse into it, the 7420 Cup. I have the Challenger Super Stock now. Um, I want to max out the S7 Sport back, but really I'm just conserving my fuse. I did, however, max out the Mustang with Slicks and the 924 Carrera with Slicks. Both of those are maxed out, and I'm currently working on maxing out the Lancer Evo 10. Plus, I got the Resvani Beast Alpha X. I was super stoked to pull that one. And then for legendaries, we have 14. So it's not like I even have a bad legendary collection, and some of which are really good. TVR Typhon's not bad. The Roof Dakar is not bad. Lancia Delta HF Integrale Evolucion. Great car. Super happy to have that. Flying Spur, I like, so I didn't mind that. 308's meh. Bentayga's also meh. Lancer, with the standards, though, is an insanely good car. That one was wishlisted. Huayra, I got back. Same with the Arash LM. Happy to have both those two again. R8 LMX isn't bad. And then these four up here are also insanely good cars. The Mazda 757, Apollo N, Lancia ECV, and the Porsche 911 Turbo S 3.7. This one's an extremely good car. So the only really bad thing is that I don't have any prize cars. And so like, yeah, I probably would have some of those prize cars again for a very long time. But we're just kind of doing it for fun and we're just collecting. So yeah. Expect to see some more uploads in the future. Yeah, there's my fuse. Um, look at all those Ford Escorts. There's quite a lot. A lot of Pontiac Sunfires as well. But yeah, I'm just currently working on upgrading some cars. Expect some pack openings soon. Subscribe to the second channel and follow me on Insta if you want to talk. Or just follow me on Insta too. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. So stay tuned. I'm Yellowfin and goodbye.